Hello dear students, today you're going to talk about our lesson which is digestive system. Let's remember together we have studied before all our body systems, our main body organs, but now we're going to talk about only one system which is digestive system. Let's see. Here our digestive system, how it looks like from inside. Here it starts by mouth, esophagus, which looks like a long tube here, then stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and two extra parts, liver, pancreas, where the pancreas is look like a plant leaf here. Let's see now and let's talk about each part of those parts in full details. We start here, how your body digests the food. We start digesting the food or breaking down the food into simple substance, starting from our mouth. As we start to chew the food by our teeth and change or break it down into small pieces by our teeth, where it also makes it by saliva. What is saliva? Saliva is the here, saliva is the liquid which is found in our mouth and is secreted by special parts in our mouth called salivary glands. Again, digestion starts from our mouth where we start to break down the food by our teeth into small parts and it mixes it up with saliva. The saliva is the liquid found in our mouth and it's secreted by special parts in our mouth called salivary gland. So salivary gland secretes saliva. This saliva makes the food moist and soft so can we can swallow it easily. Then esophagus. As we said esophagus it looks like a long tube where it passes the food from our mouth to the stomach. Again, esophagus is a long tube, like you can see it here. It's only a tube that passes the food from mouth to the stomach. Then the stomach. Here the stomach is a bag of muscles that can mix the food with special juices. Here when the food reaches to the stomach, it can mix it with a special juices and digest it into simpler and simpler part but here we call it incomplete digestion it's not completed yet so again take care in our stomach the food now is in complete digestion it's not completed yet where it can be completed it completed in the small intestine now it's a complete digestion so again in the small intestine here this part can complete the digestion of food and it changes it into very 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 simple substance then it passes it to the blood while the undigested food goes to the large intestine undigested food goes to the large intestine and goes outside our body as wastes through anus. So let's, let's say here what we have said before. So again, in the small intestine, the digested food or the good parts of our food goes to the blood and pass it all over our body and can make our body healthy while the undigested food or the bad parts of our, of our food passes to the large intestine and then are spilled out our body. Then liver. The liver is the largest organ in our body. It can give us energy and it can secrete a juice called the bile. It's a type of liquid secreted from the liver called the bile, which can digest fats. Now at the last pancreas, as we said, it's look like a plant leaf and it helps to break down the sugar. Let's check some parts here. Number one, digestion process starts in where we start digestion. 
mouth. Number two, complete digestion happens in small intestine. That's right. While in the stomach, we said it's incomplete digestion. It's not finished yet. It completed in small intestine. Number three, largest part or the largest organ in your body is liver. Number four, breaks down the sugar. Which part can break down the sugar that you eat? Is it pancreas or liver or large intestine? Pancreas. Number five, undigested food or the bad parts of our food goes to large intestine. Then it goes out through anus to outside of our body. Thank you so much and hope to see you next in the next lesson. Thanks.